morning. So how is your day today? A date. Um yeah, I think it's I think it's fun today. Um I think it's great because today in the even afternoon I mm-hmm. just need to learn four subjects. Ah, because so you have today I need to learn five subjects. Oh, so you have one free time this afternoon because supposedly you have five subjects but you have four subjects. Yeah. So you great. will <laughs> it's so like you... I will uh, I can finish it uh, soon. Mm-hmm. So uh, what time are you going to end your class this afternoon? Um, if I have four subjects, I think it will finish in at 4.25 p.m. Mm-hmm. So that's great. You, will, you can get rest or take yeah. rest early than usual all right did you eat la- oh dinner oh dinner it means last night how about breakfast did you eat breakfast, breakfast today yeah today is great my mom did she did a oh, one uh, kind of cake in Draymond oh in Draymond it's, yeah it's favorite it's favorite from Draymond favorite cake oh oh that's a cake the name it's, of the cake is the Raymond? I know it's um I don't know how to call it a cake or pie, but it have a flour flour and um egg, um sugar, uh mixed together and you put on the pan, don't have oil. Mm-hmm. Okay, it doesn't have oil. So you call it the Raymond cake. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, nice. In uh, in Japan they call dorayaki. Oh, dorayaki. So it's like the same with your mom's cake. Okay, yeah. that's great. So now Sarah, we will check your homework last time. So I told you last meeting to describe your dad. So I love your answers here, but do you want to read it again? Um okay. Yeah, in my family, I love everyone, but there's um, is one person I always love and respect. That is my father. My father turns forty years old this year. My dad is good at math, physics, and chemistry. So from a young age, I learned the subjects well and understood them better than my peers. That taught me everything from studying to everything around. In the evening, my father and I like would talk about cosmology of the laws of physics. My dad is my dad and my only best friend. I love my dad more than anyone. If if possible I want to I want my dad to be my dad forever. Wow. This is a very good sentence or a very good description about your dad. If yeah. I want to have my dad, I would choose him forever. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think you were really close with your dad. Yeah. And you said your dad is your best friend. So it means you can tell him everything. Oh, yeah. All right. You're not really shy talking with your brother. And she, oh, he taught you different subjects. So I think, oh, what is the job of your dad? Um, He work, uh, we work at um, like kind of um, technology, IT. Oh. Yeah, like that, like technology in IT, like a computer. Yeah, he can fix it or teach me about that. So, yeah, it's very cool. Okay, so I think your dad works in a company of IT or IT company. Okay, that's yeah, great. Yeah, but and... he, uh, off, uh, he work at home. Mm-hmm. Yes, some project, because of... some project, uh, he he can work at home with her her, her, her his computer. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. And I think your dad is really smart because she's he's good at, at math, physics, and chemistry. Yeah, these are these are difficult subjects. Yeah, yeah, my dad is super good, and as he always say, he he always says, um, it's easy to learn. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a very good thing that your dad taught you these, these subjects at an early age. 
okay because you understood it if your dad is the one who taught you or your mom unlike when you are learning this in school right it's different when you have someone to help you at home yeah okay because my dad said if you can learn good at math you can learn almost um, you can learn good at most subjects yes because math is connected with most of every subjects like physics chemistry and uh, science? yeah yeah science also uh, biology i think um, all of this because uh, they have math is uh, like you can you need math to uh to finish high school or middle school or even university so you need to learn it even you don't like or not uh-huh even you like it or not yeah so you still need to learn it okay i think aside from english math is also one of the uh, most important subjects yeah, it's, it's need to logic a lot, and of course I'm learn like um in a middle level. With me, I I think I'm learning middle level, but I know about all, um, almost like everything my dad told to me. She, he told to me when I learned this from school. She he would talk like, oh yeah, is um I think it's relate to this this this. So uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's very great when I heard my dad told me. Okay, it's a good thing because if you have, if you don't understand something, you can just ask okay. your dad, or if you have some homework, you can ask your dad's help. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah, my dad is good at Earth. Like uh, we um search for Earth, like a uh, Mars or oh. uh, yeah, the Sun. He told me like it's related to physics. Oh, so your dad, I think your dad really likes science. Yeah, or science, is it chemistry, math, okay. technology too. <laughs> it's a very good thing. And like, unlike other kids, their uh, their parents were really busy. They don't have time to teach them. And I think your dad is busy too, but he finds time to teach you and spend time yeah. with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Thank you for doing that, Sarah, and you did a great job. Okay, as you can see, you don't Thank have you. any mistakes when you are writing your your sentences. Okay, I think so it's we... yes because I think yes because yeah, I see on the I the sentence I love everyone. I need to put a full stop. Mm hmm. I say as you can see and... here, you have here the introduction part. Right. Yeah, I think I will change uh math, physics, and and chemistry. Not um like uh yeah. I think it's I will put n. Oh, and yeah, because it there's a comma here, right? You need to put n. Yeah. And chemistry, okay. All right. What else? So this is your conclusion. That is my dad. And my only best friend, I love my dad more than anyone. If possible, I want my dad to be my dad forever. Okay, so that's yeah. why you need to spend time or to treasure time spending with your mom and dad because they are growing old, right? Mm -hmm. So they're getting older and we are getting uh, older too. So we don't know if we can spend time with them for a long time. So we need to treasure every moment together with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we will talk about unit 12, my dad this morning. So we have here. Okay. So we have here the sound D. Can you say it again? D, yeah. Okay. D. D. So Similar example. To Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Dentist. Have... Card. Right, why, dog, day, doctor, desk, dress, product, hide, bed, body, duck, dry, drill. Oh, okay, drill. Right, very good. Drill. Next. This dumble bubble gum bumble, dumble bubble, down the beep, 
damn dark than then. The dog dropped the dirty dumbo dance that makes Max dinner napkin. Oh, how are you going to read again this word? Drop it. Oh, drop. can you say dropped? Dropped. Uh, yeah, dropped. It's like to at the end, okay? Dropped. Very good. Yeah. So that's double bubble, gum bubble, bu double bubble. Down the deep, damp, dark, dank, then. The dick dropped the dirty double the mask dinner napkin. So I told you what is this word last time, right? Damn mask. Yeah, damn do, mask. Do you, do you still remember this? Yeah. It's, it's a piece of cloth when you are eating on your dinner table. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we have here these words. Can you read number one? Oh, this one, Sarah, we have. Okay, hello. Uh, hello, Sarah, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. I thought you're not here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you because sometimes I think it's internet. Yeah, oh. I hate this problem. Yeah. All right. So, can you read number one? We have uh, respect. Okay, respect. respect. Next. Respect. Deal. Okay, deal. All right, next one we have. Deal. Logical. Logical. And number four, we have. Patience. All right, patience. patience. Okay. So now. Patience. All right, yes, patience. So we have here the first word, respect. Okay, what do you think is the meaning of the word respect? Um, I think it's like one of the things we pull it to, to gather to, to each other people. Uh, we respect they uh, not mm, it's, it's one of uh, thing we one one of polite thing mm -hmm. I don't know oh yes that's right when we say respect it means you yes, are polite I, I know this means it's, it's, it's polite okay when we say respect it's being polite to other people like for example I respect my dad I respect my mom, yeah. okay? It means you showing politeness to your mom and dad. You don't want them yeah. to, you don't want them to get hurt or to say bad things about them. Something so, uh, bad thing, yeah. Yes, okay. It's How respect. About, yes. So we have here the word deal. Do you know the meaning of this? Deal. deal. It's, it's, like, it's agree. It's uh -huh. agree. Okay, yes, I agree. Oh, for it, they usually use this in business, like I got a big deal, right? For example, deal. they approve, okay? My dad approve on my project. It's like deal, like approve, uh. right? Or sometimes we also have here this sentence, for example, um, Deal with problems. Okay. Deal with problems. Uh -huh. What do you think is the meaning of that? We have here the word deal. Yeah, like we have we have problems and we face to face. Uh-huh. Very good. We need to face it. We need to solve it. Okay. Yeah. All we right. Need and to, that, uh, um, make a consequence is good or bad all right so another example is my dad is my dad. good in dealing math problems oh yeah okay it means your dad is okay. good 
in dealing math problems. How about the word logical or logic? Logic, uh, I think, is a verb or noun, but it is mean you is very great to uh, to understand this and you know all, all things relate to it. Yeah, you need logic a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. So when we say logical um, to, uh, I mean, Sarah, it's like it is an adjective. It seems like you understand easily. You understand things easily. Yeah. Right or reasonable. In, uh, it's in some uh, comic like Harry Potter or, uh -huh, or uh, yes. like Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. All right. Yeah, you sometimes, need to logic a lot. Okay. Sometimes there are some books that you can't understand easily, but for you, you need to yeah. use your logic, right? Your mind yeah. to understand things. Okay. How about the word patient? Patient. Um, actually, I don't know a lot of this. Okay, so we have two meanings of patient. So another uh, one. Adjective. Uh huh. Yes. The first one is. Okay. Wait a moment. So we have here the word noun, and the patient. It is adjective. What do you think is the difference between that? Mm -hmm. I think it's like um great adjective. Is it is you need to wait too long, but you still wait. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. So when we say patient, Sarah, it's like a person, okay, a person who has some um, sick, right? Or yeah, in the hospital, you call that patient, right? Okay, for example, when you go to the hospital and they need to treat you, they call you patient. Right? But here in this example, when we say I am a patient person, it means you have patience. Yeah. All right. You can wait for a long time. Okay. All right. Do you have any and do you have any question about these words? No, I'm sometimes I'm not really kind of people and uh, you're not really patient. Oh, so you are not a patient person. So you yeah. you sometimes you don't like, like I wait too long. Uh huh. So you don't like those kind of things. Yeah. Okay. So you are. What is the what is the opposite of patient? Um. Hardworking or some um difficult. What is the the opposite of patient? It is im. Patient. Patient. Yes. So when we say patient, you don't want waiting. You wanted things to 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 be made yeah. or act quickly. All right. So next one, we have this story. We will find those words in this story. Okay, so let's read it. Okay, okay, I can see the screen. My dad is a man whom I respect the most in my life. He works every day hard to make the money supposed earned. My mother has a job too, and she also works very hard. My dad is prince principal of a high school. Wow. He works at the school all day and often has to go to meetings at night. He deals with parents, students and staff. That's always sometimes she ha he has to deal with. He has a lot of he has a lot on his mind. Okay, very good. So we have here the word um deals, right? Yeah, deals. Okay, so it means he needs to talk with parents yeah. or he needs to face some problems about school. Yeah. Okay, In paragraph, next. I see, uh, yeah, my dad is principal. I think it's very cool, right? <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> of course. Yeah, learn, uh, I think um, that the writer is really great uh, study, so he or she will be great too. Okay, 
So as you can see here, my dad is the man whom I respect the most. Okay, how about you, how about you Sarah? Do you think the same? Um, yeah. All right. So sometimes we really respect our dad, especially when they're really strict, right? Oh. Okay, we need to we need to obey all them all the time. So of course the students and the parents respect this dad because he's the principal. Yeah. Okay. They respect him a lot. Okay, next one. It doesn't matter how much work my dad has to do. He always had time for my brothers, my sister and me. If I go to him with a problem, he will sit down and discuss with it with me. He doesn't yell. He is always very logical. He tries to think of the best way to deal with things. My dad is very patient man. Once I spilled, I spilled some ink on some papers and he was working on. I thought he would be mad, but he didn't get angry. He said that his own was okay. Oh, I wow. think I love I think I think I love his dad also. Yeah, right? because he is patient, he don't shout. Yeah, because almost man, that man really like will be sometimes get angry or shout. But Okay. Alright, so Sarah, you said he don't shout. How are you going he to doesn't. correct that? Okay, very good. He, he doesn't. doesn't shout. So as you can see, um, usually that gets mad easily. Yeah, right? but this he, his dad, the this dad is really patient and not not doesn't ill anyone. Yeah. Okay, and he's very logical. Yeah. It means he thinks hard before, uh, before, before making decisions. Talk one top yeah. topic. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, because that, so I do that. Okay, so do you also talk with your dad, like sitting down and discuss some things with your dad? What? Oh, do you also do this one, like talking with your dad? like discussing some things yeah i'm discuss i i'm not when really sure it, about this when was it discuss um, it's a, it's, a, it's a verb like talking oh yeah okay when we say discussing it's like talking about some topic yeah i think right. it's just like i have some um, some uh have a thing problem with study. Uh huh. Okay. So when you have some problems about your school, about your sisters, your dad will be the one to talk with you or discuss ah. it with you. All right. So now we have here to fill in the blanks. So let's listen first before answering this one. Okay. Answering. Okay. With that. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait for a moment. Wait. That's, okay. It's it's quite long. <laughs> wait for. Oh, can you answer? My dad. My dad is the man whom I respect the most in my life. He works very hard to make the money that supports us. My mother has a job too, and she also works very hard. My dad is the principal of a high school. He works at the school all day and often has to go to meetings at night. He deals with parents, students, and staff. There is always something that he has to deal with. He has a lot on his mind. All right, so Sarah, can you answer? Okay. My dad is the, the man whom I respect mo the most in my life. He works very hard to make the money that supposed us. My mother has a job too, and she also works very hard. My dad is principal of a high school. He works at the school all day and often has to go to meeting at night. He deals with parents, students, and staff. There's always something that he was he has to deal with. He has a lot on his mind. 
Okay, very good. He has a lot of things on his mind. So sometimes uh, when we compare our moms and our dads, moms are the talkative one and our dad is the silent one, but they have many things on their mind, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I wish my dad is visible too, but yeah, my dad is great about technology, so it's not really <laughs> bad. <laughs> All right. Of course, we have our own uniqueness about our dad. They have their uniqueness, so we cannot compare them with different dads. So maybe their dad has has this job. Your dad is also good at this thing. All right. So we need to appreciate our dad. Okay, next one. Next one. Mm -hmm. Wait for a moment. It doesn't matter how much work my oh, dad the... has to do. Oh, yeah. He always has time. Oh, what is it? No, 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 no. Okay. It doesn't matter how much work my dad has to do. He always has time for my brothers, my sister, and me. If I go to him with a problem, he will sit down and discuss it with me. He doesn't yell. He is always very logical, and he tries to think of the best way to deal with things. My dad is a very patient man. Once, I spilled some ink on papers that he was working on. I thought he would be mad, but he didn't get angry. He said it was okay. All right, so let's start. It doesn't matter how much work my dad has to do. He always has time for my brothers, my sister, and me. If I, if I go... If I go to him with a problem, he will still sit down and discuss it with me. He doesn't yell. He is always very logical, and he tries to think of the best way to deal with things. My dad is a very patient man. Once I spilled some ink on some papers that he he was working on, I thought that he would be mad, but he didn't get angry. He said that it was okay. All right, very good. So how about you, Sarah? Do you have um, an experience wherein you you made your dad angry at you? No, I, actually, I'm real kind people, not really uh, um, skinful, like not really carefully. So sometimes I I was make the water the water drop or or broken the bowl or uh, uh -huh. the the cup and of course my mom will shout to me like okay be <laughs> careful and she say uh, out loud and she like angry but my dad it just said it was uh, it was okay and you um you can clean it you just can clean it and yeah it's normal yeah, it's very okay. great because I've scared my dad. I scared uh, he will shout at me like, uh, yeah, because my, when my mother angry, I thought my dad will angry too, but <laughs> not. But, oh yeah, it's really, it's really cool. All right, so I think your dad is just in the middle, right? Like if your mom gets angry, he will not get mad. He will be the one to make your mom calm down. Yeah, right. calm down. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so oh, I think all of us is scared of our dads because they're, if they're mad, they're really mad. They're scary, right? Have you seen your dad? Have you seen your dad getting angry or getting mad at something? Um, actually, if he angry, I think is that make some people make he, he make like they he filled these people not respect him oh yeah that make me feel because all men all almost the men they want respect so if some people have some uh, some doing they are doing something related to like uh, not respect them i think they were angry okay so it talks about getting angry but in your house your dad uh, your dad did it getting getting mad all the time so i think um, he's a patient man i think not really no, my dad is not really kind of patient man sometimes she he uh, taught he taught um, about this kind of math and if i don't understand many times 
think <laughs> we agree. Yeah, because why I told you many times why you cannot understand it or uh, do it correct like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> because my dad is good at math, so so he want me good at math too. Oh, so your dad thinks that you can get it also easily because he get it right. Yeah. Okay. So I think your dad is also good in in dealing problems at home, like yeah, this. he is good. All right, and you know what, Sarah, you said that you you easily broke things or break <laughs> things like plates, like cups, and that is what we call clumsy. Clumsy, okay. Clumsy. All right, so you can say I am clumsy, right? Instead of saying I. I am not very careful. You can use the word clumsy, okay? Yeah, because um, I'm 100% clumsy. Oh, 100% yeah, when clumsy? When I when first time I wash dishes and in my hometown and I made three plants <laughs> broke and my sister like, your hand is real magic. When you touch <laughs> something, it's broke. Oh uh, yeah, because sometimes I wash bowl dishes, and my dad would tell me like, "Careful, if you broke a lot, we don't have thing to eat." Oh yeah, all right. That is why you need to be careful. Maybe that's your weakness. You're being clumsy all the time. Yeah. Okay. So you need to work on that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now let's have here another okay. word. Yeah. The first one is skate. Number two is foundation. Foundation. Okay. Yeah. Foundation. Number three. Assignment. Assignment. Okay. Assign. Can you say assignment? Assignment. Yeah. Assignment. Very good. Easy. All right. Can you say essay? Essay. Uh, yes, as a. So we have here the word skate. I think you're familiar with this word. Yeah, um, I like skating. You like skating? Is it? Yeah, my 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 youngest sister like it too. Oh, is it ice ice skating? Mm, actually, just my brother, my cousin know about that. All right. So how about you? I would like to skate on the ground. Um, I like we can fluency. Yeah, we have patin. Uh huh. Of course, you need to balance yourself because if you don't, yeah. you will get stumble or fall down. All right. So we have here the word foundation. Okay. What do you think is that? It's a noun. Foundation, like for example, uh, my dad is the foundation of my family. Foundation. What is foundation? Okay, when we say foundation, it is like. Right, wait for a moment. Ah, okay. okay. Oh, for example, when we say like a house, right? So we have fear, for example, a house, and this is what we call the foundation. So if you don't have this foundation, your house gets what? Get destroyed easily. Okay. So if you don't have the foundation, your house gets break easily. So you have this foundation, okay, because it is very important. It's like the start of something. This yeah. is the beginning of something. So How when about I say a, assignment. Oh, assignment, it's your homework. Uh -huh. oh, it, okay. Yeah. I mean, like um this team that, will do this, this team yes. will do this, right? Okay. So in school in my country, we usually call it assignment. So if our teacher give us um homework, we call it assignment. <laughs> We don't yeah. usually call it homework, but in your country, you call it homework, right? So it is yeah. a task. It is a task that you need to finish or you need to do. Okay. For example, your assignment is to read your your read the story. It means you need to read that one. 
it's kind of homework, okay? And we also have here the word essay. Essay. I, I, I'm, I think it's really too easy. Uh-huh, yes. Oh, okay. yeah, we use, we will write is essay in some exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we say essay, it's like a long writing, right? A short yeah. piece of I writing. A, a lot paragraph. Mm -hmm. Yes, paragraph. So you have introduction, you have body, and you have the conclusion. And, okay. okay, yeah, I know that because in Vietnamese, yeah, in in the grade one, we don't need to write essay because, yeah, we just uh, start. And grade two, we can write like a paragraph. Grade mm -hmm. three, a, a little bit longer than grade two. And grade four and grade five is the end of um, ele elementary school. So it's long, need a long. Okay. It's a two paper. Okay, so for example, Sarah, you need to write an essay about about okay about COVID nineteen. So it means you will have the topic COVID nineteen. So you will write all the things that you can say about COVID nineteen. Like you have the introduction here, yeah. right? And you have the body, okay? And you have the conclusion, okay? So it's quite long. You need to write all the things you know about this topic. Okay. All right. So, do you have any question? Um, no. All right. So now, okay. So we have the story again here. Let's read. Okay. Let's read it. He takes time out to do things with us. He has taken my brother finishing fishing. He takes me to an arena to skate. And he helps my sister to write her his essays and assignments. He always makes us laugh. And he makes us feel like we are very special to him. He's a very good father. And on Father's Day, I always buy him a card that tells him just how much he means to me. Okay, so I think his dad here is really great because there he's really spending time with his sons and his daughters. Okay, yeah. and of course on Father's Day. Okay, do you know when is Father's Day, Sarah? Yeah, I know. It's I don't know. I don't remember the date, but I know that. Okay, it's on. It's on. It's in June, right? June. Yeah. Of June. Course. I think it's the first first Sunday of June, I think. I don't I don't remember but I know okay. the date. So what do you usually do on Father's Day? Um actually with my dad he is real simple, so he, if I give his he some present he will say oh no more day like that. So I think I just I think I need to Study good. I just mm -hmm. do that and happy. So that that make he, he happy. All right. So our dad is like a simple man. They don't have. They don't like getting expensive stuffs. Unlike our mom, right? So if yeah. you did if you did small things, that is okay for them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next one. I think it is important to have good parents i hope that when i have children i will be a good parent like my parents are me too parents give children a foundation that they need to live good life okay can you say good lives good life all right so what do you think is the difference of this word sarah we have here they need to live good lives <laughs> why what is the difference yeah, of these two? Um, actually, like, leave is good. Leave uh -huh. good. All the all the life we need to learn, uh, leave, um, do the good things like that. All right. So leave is a verb, right? Mm -hmm. We need to leave to have a good lives. So when we say lives sarah it's like our life 
right? Yeah. Good lives. Okay. How about the word foundation here? Parents foundation. give children the foundation that they need to live good lives. Yeah. Foundation. I think foundation. Um. Foundation is the um, like uh we we do own. Uh huh. So parents give children the foundation. So our parents is our foundation, like our role model. Okay. Yeah our role model to live a good life. So if we see that our parents are good, all right, there is a big possibility that the children is good too, right? The children are good yeah. too. But if we see our parents like they don't respect each other, they always fight with each other, okay, the children usually get that impact right they'll see bad things and they usually also get those character or personality like they're always shouting at each other children also shout to each other okay so we need to have a good parents so that we can have a good foundation all right so that we also be good yeah okay so I hope if we have children soon, we can also be a good parents to our children. Yeah. Okay. So how, or how about this one? I, okay, listen first. Okay, I'll listen first. He takes time out to do things with us. He has taken my brother's fishing. He takes me to the arena to skate, and he helps my sister to write her essays and assignments. He always makes us laugh, and he makes us feel like we are very special to him. He is a very good father, and on Father's Day, I always buy him a card that tells him just how much he means to me. Okay, okay he let's takes see. time out to, to do things with us. He has taken my brother's fishing. He takes me to an arena to skate, and he helps my sister to write her essays and assignments he always makes us laugh and he makes us feel like we are very special to him he okay. sure is a good father and on the father's day i always buy him a card that tells him just how much he means to me mm -hmm. oh this one do you know this one already they think it's important. Ah, oh, okay. I think it's important to have good parents. I hope that when I have children, I will be good parents, like my parents are to me. Parents give children the foundation that they need to live a good life. Ah, okay, very good. So, how about you, Sarah? Do you think your parents are good to you? Or with your brothers and sisters? Yeah. All right, yes. And if we see, all right, if we see that our parents are good to us, we can also follow their steps. So that if you yeah. have also your own family, you can also you can also apply that to your children. Okay? Okay. All right, so very good. So now we have this kind of free talk. Okay. And Okay, so what does your dad do? What does my dad do? What do my dad? What does my dad do? Um, it's what like, is mean like about okay. you in home or something? All right. So when you when you heard this question, it's asking you what is your dad's job? Ah, uh, okay. My dad he works. He's working. Uh, at home, but he work for some subject uh, related to IT technology. Um, he always, I think, he always um do works with English English, so he can teach me some vocab about IT too. Mm, um, my my mom said he do he does subject. Um, relate to science and technology 
for um some company. It's like um, he do own. Uh, actually, he just started when I grade two because in grade far grade one, he comes he came to my hometown to uh he came to my hometown to help my uncle do about, about um working about I don't I don't remember but now he still work at home and do some uh, does some project for um some company Mhm mm all right so that's great you said that your dad did many things right he knows a lot about IT IT things about computer about English he he taught you how to improve your English also like yeah. vocabularies and you said when I grade two I think there's a missing word yeah when I grade two what is the missing word there Sarah when I was okay very good when I was in grade two your dad started that job Mm -hmm. So it's quite for a long time already. Okay. How about number two? Oh, what does he do every day? Um, every day, I think like a normal day, but he will work in the night. Um, I think you will ask me why, right? Oh, because, yes. <laughs> because in the morning, it's, um, it's noisy for my dad to work. It's, um, it's he will work at night because uh, it's uh, quiet. Yeah, because my pl my floor have many children, and in the morning they shouting, they're shouting, yelling, and it's it's missing. Uh, or some house if they come to some house to play with, um, yeah, they he will work at night. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right, you got it now. So you said a while ago he will work in the night, but you got it correctly also. He will work at night. night. Okay, very good. How about in the morning? Okay, you said your dad works at night. So how about in the morning? What uh, what does he usually do during um, more? If I don't have something important, he will sleep, of course, because he will wake awake all all of night. Um, sometimes he, sometimes he um, watch um football match. Uh, like UEFA champs Champions League, Champions League. Yeah, last night he w wake up and watch watched um. Um, P PSG with Man City, Manchester City. All right. So yes, of course, he's he's working hard at night. Of course, he needs to take a rest in the morning. He and <laughs> have uh, he, his favorite uh, drink is coffee. Oh, he likes because coffee. Because it make uh, he uh, awake and okay, yeah. he did he do doesn't like um sweet food. Okay. He can so, eat um salty, um spicy, um yeah, but he don't he cannot cannot and doesn't like sweet food. Oh right. So that's right. He likes coffee because it makes him awake all night. It yeah. makes him it makes him full give him energy to work at night. And yeah. you said he doesn't like sweet food. And how about your mom? Does she like mom, sweets? Of course, she likes sweet. And okay, I will tell you about that thing. Huh? I people when he when they heard that, they didn't believe me because Why? my mom this year my mom turns uh, 37 years old, and she just um has 45 ki kilograms. Oh, so your mom is like a slim, but actually he she eats a lot. Oh, so she eats she eats a lot, but she's not getting fat or she's not getting weight. Yeah, she can oh. eat sour things, sweet things, um, or eat barbecues. It's real fat. <laughs> 
is that the <laughs> we know beef or some sweet food or some uh if we eat a lot um we get fat but she is not oh i think you can just say this word it is sana all do you know this one no <laughs> all right that is a phrase in my country that it that it means or it means hopefully all Okay, hopefully all because your mom eats a lot, but she's not getting fat and other people will say, hopefully all, I hope I can do that also. Yeah. So in my country, we usually say it, um, sane all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, because uh, I think your mom is lucky because yeah. she can eat, she can eat whatever she wants it. Okay, yeah, because there, great. there are some people who likes to eat a lot, but they are worried about their weight. Yeah. Okay, how about number three? Can you read number three? What do you do? What do you and your dad usually do together? Um, talk about physics, math, oh, no. chemistry, animal planet. Oh, so I technology, think technology, science, a lot of things, but only, oh. but I like um science and animals. All right, so I think you usually talk about subjects, about yeah. academics. How about uh, life, without having talking about subjects or your assignments or your homework? Life, I think he taught taught to me uh her, his him her, his past. Like oh. when he was young, what did he do with um, uh, his brother? Like my uncle, my uncle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, in interesting and uh, and he told to me about my mother and he when when the first day they meet met. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. So, <clears throat> so your dad told you his story yeah right? his life story when 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 they met with your mom the first time they met and his story and i think you can learn a lot from that yeah okay so i think he just wanted to share it with you so that you know what happened to them when they were young and you can also tell that or you can also tell that when you get children also Right. Okay. How about number four? What do you do to help him? What do you to help him? Uh, I think I will learn hard and learn hard um, and get a house. All right. So you can help your dad by studying hard. Uh huh. By studying hard, so you think that you can you can pay him back or your mom's back if you if you really study hard and if you grow older, you will also be the one to take care of them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I think our parents sacrifices a lot for our for us for their children. Okay. They really work hard. Okay. So. So, Sarah, we are done with your mom and with your dad. So, I think you've learned a lot from these lessons because it, it talks about your moms and dad. So, how about this one? We have some dictionary here. The first one is <clears throat> on somebody's mind. Can you read on the example? On somebody's mind. He has a lot on his mind. Okay, he has a lot on his mind, like your dad. Maybe he has a lot on his mind, yeah. like about his work. And maybe you too, right? You have a lot on you, you have a lot of things on your mind, especially your subjects. Yeah. How are you how are you going to finish your homework? It's very fast. Okay, how about number two? Work on something. He was work working on a project. All right. So work on something. Of course, you are going to put ing 
at the end of the verb because it is present con oh, past continuous. So he was working on a project. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. Feel like noun or subject plus verb. So for example, I feel like I'm sick today. All right, so we have here the word feel like. How about I'm sick? All right, that is the um, S. Oh, this one. I mean, I'm. I'm is the noun, right? And we yeah. have the sick. That is the verb. So I feel like I'm sick today. I feel like I'm sad today. I feel like I'm happy today, right? Yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> okay. How about number four? Number four, take time to do something. All right, so can you read it? He takes time to play with us. All right, he takes time to play with us. So we have here, take time to do, it means to play and then something All right, with us. Number five, deal with and then noun. Yeah. He has to to deal with, deal with many people every day all right so he has to deal with with what yeah. with many people all right so i think do you have any question about this dictionary sarah uh, um um okay do you is it difficult i think is yeah, 15%. <laughs> is it 15%? Why? Yeah. Why do you think it's 50%? Is it difficult to do? It's like, uh, I need uh, a lot. I think I need an um, idea. All right. So I think it will become your homework. So if you have free time, you can think of many ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so this will be your homework next meeting. You will make um, sentences, all right, using these um, phrases. Okay? Phrases? Yes, we call it phrases. When we say phrases, Sarah, it is uh, not complete thought. We don't have subject and we don't have predicate. For example, this one, on somebody's mind, that is a phrase because it's not a complete sentence, right? Yeah. What if you are um, going to- I write a sentence or just a paragraph. Oh, sentences. Like this one, he has a lot on his mind. Okay. One sentence for number one, one sentence for number two, three, four, and five. Okay. Yeah. All right. So do you have any question before we end the class? Um, no. All right, so now, so next meeting, we will have a summary about my dad. So I hope you can still remember all the lessons that we have learned. And okay. next meeting, we will have your new lesson that is making friends. Making okay. Friends. Okay. All right, so that's it for today, Sarah. If you don't have any question, we call it a day. So oh, yeah. I hope you will have a great day today. So bye. Bye. Bye.